Seattle City Council. The Seattle City Council is the legislative branch of government. Members set the city's direction by enacting ordinances and passing resolutions. The council authorizes expenditures, adopts regulations, levies taxes, controls the finances and property of the city, and performs many related legislative tasks. Of the nine city council positions, two, position eight and position nine, are at large, representing the entire city for a term of four years. Positions one through seven each represent different areas of the city. Only the two at-large council positions are up for election this year. The top two vote-getters in each position will advance to the general election in November. The remaining seven council positions will be on the ballot in 2023. All voters in Seattle can vote in the at-large city council races. My name is Brianna Thomas and I'm running for Seattle City Council position 9 because I'm ready to lead on the policies our city needs to move forward. I am proud to have led successful efforts that put Seattle at the national forefront of workers' rights, livable wages, and police accountability, from inside City Hall and in the community as an advocate and an organizer. For over a decade, I've invested time and energy in this community. I managed the Yes for SeaTac campaign that won the first $15 minimum wage in the country. I led honest elections, which brought us democracy vouchers that fuel our campaigns with people power instead of corporate influence. I'm a proud progressive and a proud Democrat. I moved to Seattle in 2004 when I was 23 years old. I found an apartment in the Admiral Junction and a couple of jobs to make ends meet. I was able to chase my dreams in this city because opportunity was abundant. I'm deeply concerned that those opportunities are moving quickly away, particularly for people of color and working families. From my childhood growing up in a trailer park in rural Georgia, volunteering at our neighborhood soup kitchen, to negotiating police accountability legislation as chief of staff to the council president, I have long felt the call to public service. Last year, I was proud to be part of the council doing the work of holding this city together during one of its most challenging periods in history. As your council member, I will prioritize pandemic recovery that supports small businesses and our arts, music, and cultural communities that are the vibrant backbone of our city. I am committed to reimagining our entire criminal justice system, not just sentencing and policing, and doing the hard work of building trust between communities of color and law enforcement. I will champion building a sustainable Seattle that's affordable, transit connected, and accessible, and allows seniors to age in place with respect and dignity. Seattle deserves compassionate and effective leadership to navigate these unprecedented times. I'm running for Seattle City Council because it's time for real results, not just rhetoric, lifting all of our neighbors up and making sure no one is left behind. I humbly ask for your support. My name is Lindsay McAfee and I am running for Seattle City Council position nine. I believe I would be a good fit for the job because I have experience being low income struggling with systemic oppression. If a person is behind on their child support payments, the state will suspend the person's driver's license. How is that person supposed to get to work to make their payments if they can't drive to work? New roads being built are getting tolls added onto them. The Highway 99 tunnel was built to replace the viaduct. A toll has been added on, so now only people who can afford to pay can use it. This is a vivid example of class disparity that the city is supporting. Victimless crimes exist solely for the purpose of generating revenue, but the people being targeted with these laws are forced to choose between paying fines or caring for their families. Much like our elderly living on fixed incomes being forced to choose between their necessary medications or food, I believe that government should not make laws that complicate life. People should be free to be true to themselves regardless of how others feel about it. Laws need to be written to, with maintaining the people's freedoms as a first priority, not how much money can be generated from taxes. Seattle needs to learn to live within its means. The city is literally crumbling down around us all, and everything being done from my standpoint is done reactively. It is time to start being proactive about our city and all of the people living within it. The struggle is real, and it doesn't have to be. With your help, I believe we can revive this dying city and build it back greater and more affordable than it was before. In the last year, Seattle has had a reckoning with racial inequality. 
a battle with a devastating pandemic, and is facing a continued climate crisis. The question before Seattle voters is straightforward. Will we continue to rely on the policies of the past, many of which brought us to this point, or is it time for a fresh perspective rooted in community care? I'm Nikita Oliver, I use they, them pronouns, and I am running for Seattle City Council's Citywide Position 9. I'm an artist, adjunct professor at Seattle University School of Law, an executive director, and an attorney who has supported clients through school exclusion, eviction, and anti-discrimination cases. When elected, I will govern with a conviction that those most impacted by the problems facing our city are those who have the solutions we most need. A vote for the Nikita for Nine campaign is a vote for a city that embodies racial and economic justice. A city with labor protections for freelancers and prevailing wages and health care for frontline workers. A city that enacts progressive revenue to build housing for all and meet basic needs of residents. A city that takes bold action to address the climate crisis, including working towards free transit and reforming a zoning code that restricts our supply of affordable housing, forcing longer commute times between work and home. My campaign has garnered more democracy vouchers than any other Position 9 race because we've built community power from the ground up, from the South End to the North End, among renters and vulnerable homeowners, seniors at risk of displacement and young people alike. I've been endorsed in this race by UFCW Local 21, SEIU Local 925, author Ijioma Oluo, Seattle City Council members Tammy Morales and Mike O'Brien, County Council Members Girmai Zahalai and Larry Gossett, and Washington State Representatives Kirsten harris Talley and Tara Simmons. With their support and yours, we're going to build the city we say we are, a Seattle where all are welcome and none are excluded. Hi, Seattle. My name's Extran Gunther. In addition to hopefully being your city councilor, I'm a creative, eco-conscious marketer, publicist, business developer, and music maker. I've worked with mayors, counselors, celebrities, and some people endorse me. You can go to my website, exchangunther.com, for specifics. I'm running to represent you because the challenging crossroads we're at demand bold, swift action, well-informed, specific, practical, and sustainable long-term plans. But I haven't heard much of those, so I jumped in. Through my extensive work for the nonprofit natural foods and music industries, I've formed innovative public-private partnerships that make dollars go further getting stuff done. For decades, politicians here rolled out 10-year end homelessness plans, declared homelessness a crisis, and congratulated themselves for producing hundreds of units of social housing when many thousands were needed. Let's end the inadequate piecemeal approaches. I'll introduce legislation to create a housing public utility district to build the many thousand green, supportive, affordable rental and first-time home buyer units we need throughout Seattle. And our wealthy city must have adequate hygiene stations and public restrooms for all. I have detailed plans. We must overhaul our public safety system, starting with residency requirements. A small, well-trained elite armed division should only supplement a larger public safety department that addresses the needs of our growing city. We can provide much day-to-day -day safety via bylaw, mental health, and community officers without guns. As the only member on council with significant arts industry experience, I'll work to create housing, financial opportunities, and relief for our music, film, theater, culinary, and other arts creators who define Seattle so much. Let's equip community centers with art and music work studios and commissary kitchens geared especially toward those historically marginalized. And make Seattle Subway's comprehensive subway system vision map a reality, prioritizing humans over autos, and adopt a comprehensive gray water reuse plan. My proposals come with funding mechanisms, so if you want bold systemic change for the better, you have to elect bold leaders. I hope to earn your vote. Seattle is an incredible city, but unfortunately our city leadership is failing us. My name is Sarah Nelson and I'm running because Seattle deserves a city council that keeps its promises. Like you, I've watched with frustration as the city struggles on issues like homelessness and public safety. It's time for a leader that offers real solutions, not the same old ideological rhetoric. I have a track record of putting my progressive values to work to get things done. As former aide to council member Richard Conlin, I worked to pass landmark legislation while ensuring that Seattle delivered on its basic commitments. On City Council, I'll do the same. And my focus will be making sure Seattle helps the vulnerable by working with proven service providers using clear and transparent metrics for success. Public safety is also a crucial issue in this race. I strongly support the Black Lives Matter movement's urgent call for police reform, and I don't believe defunding is the answer. We need to commit to keeping all communities safe while holding people accountable for their actions, and then 
make appropriate funding decisions. It's important that every Seattleite can feel confident in a fast, effective response when they call 911. As we recover from the COVID pandemic, and as the co-founder of Fremont Brewing, I'll bring the critical perspective of a small business owner to council. I'll also bring the commitment to environmental safe sustainability and treating people right that Fremont Brewing is known for. I'm proud of my broad base of support. I've got the sole endorsement of the Seattle Firefighters, the Building and Construction Trades Council, Ironworkers, environmental leaders like Dennis Hayes, former Representative Gail Tarleton, former Seattle City Council members Conlon, Wills, Rasmussen, Drago, and Godden, and many more you can see at my website, sarahforcitycouncil.com. My name is Sarah Nelson, and with your vote, I'll fight for a city council that keeps its promises. Hi, my name is Corey Eichner, and I'm running for Seattle City Council, position nine. I know that I'm a new face in Seattle politics, and that is because I have spent my career as an educator. For the last 18 years, I've gone to work every day, serving our youth as a teacher and assistant principal in our public schools. I have proudly served our students across our communities, from Shoreline to South King County, where I have fought for reform and investments in our education system, to ensure that our students and families furthest from educational justice have the access and opportunities they need to succeed. We are at a critical moment in our city. Inequities continue to exist. We need to advance reform to bring change to our criminal justice system that embraces a system of restoration and not punitive consequences. To act with immediacy and prioritize regional funding that will provide rapid rehousing and support to our neighbors without homes so that we can move them to a path of success. To be transformative with our infrastructure that grows our mass transit and utilizes density planning to actually provide access to affordable housing, new jobs, parks, and public resources. And to finally systemize an action plan to combat climate change and the environmental impacts our decisions have on the future. We all know these are not new challenges to us. Even though most of our city government shares similar progressive values, there is a polarization that stops collaboration and progress. We need new leaders able to push past this divide. As a city council member, I'll get us back to the basics, equitable and progressive policy that solves problems in a practical, get things done kind of way. Seattle will continue down the wrong direction if we don't change paths. And I know that my fact-based, collaborative approach can show real progress for Seattle. Thank you, and I ask for your vote.